Hello and welcome to this Java tutorial from Retools.com. In this lesson, let's learn about if statement. Uh, we'll learn about if, uh, if else, and nested ifs. So let's get started. Let's uh, first uh, create a small method which uses a if statement. What I want to do is to create a method which uh, calculates the grade and returns me back uh, a grade A if marks greater than 50 and a grade B if marks less than 50. So uh, let's get started. Uh, I go ahead and start creating uh, uh, instance of this variable. So if else, what I want to do is example is equal to new if else example. Um, I want to example dot get grade um, when I pass in a value uh, 50 let's say if I want a value less than 40 50 that is 45 I want to get a value back which is uh, let's say grade A uh, I'm not going to use enums to keep this simple but ideally if you do this in projects probably you should go ahead and use enums um, I'll keep it to strings uh, grade B if the uh, let's say uh, if it's 55 so greater than 55 I want ah, actually I should reverse the grades so this should be B this should be A greater than 50 grade A greater than uh, less than 50 grade B so now let's uh, I'm going to do a control one or a command one and Eclipse gives me the option create the method. Let's go ahead and create it. Uh, Eclipse says it should be of object. I want to return a grade back, which is a string. So I'll go ahead and create a method grade string and int. So now what we would do is actually use something called a if statement. So uh, how we would do it is like it's I'll relimit this variable to uh, marks. For example, if open bracket close bracket your condition so whatever condition you want to check I want to check that if marks greater than 50 like if marks greater than 50 uh, I would put greater than equal to 50 then I would want to return the grade A so that's first condition if marks less than 50 I want to return B that's our second condition so the syntax for if is very simple if open bracket close bracket and the condition in between and the code in if between open brace and close brace here I'm returning the value back that's all that I'm doing in this if so that's basically a simple uh, method which uses if so now I'll go ahead and run this uh, test whichever we have created I need to uh, add a static import let's go ahead and do that and now uh, you will be able to see that I'll be able to run the JUnit and say run as JUnit test and it succeeds so basically when we pass in 55 45 as parameter what happens is marks less than 50 is true so it returns B back if 55 is passing as parameter mark greater than equal to 50 would be true and then it would return back a so that's a simple if statement now what we'll do is actually write a test to check if else statement so what will actually uh, change this code actually to use a else uh, else is what happens with else is I can actually say else if marks greater than equal to 50 then do this I would need to remove this I can implement the same thing using if else because if marks greater than 50 then return a for anything else return b so what happens here is if this condition is true the code within this breaks is, is executed else this is executed so if I pass in a value for marks as 25 let's say so this condition would be false so it comes to else and it would execute this condition so that's basically how an if else statement would work. Let's go ahead and run the JUnit test and see how it what happens. So it's good. So that's basically the if statement. And now let's go and uh, like add um, nested ifs. So let's now check how nested ifs work. 
what I want to do is uh, if marks are greater than 80, let's say, if mark is 85, I want to return back a grade A. If a mark is greater than 60, I would want to return grade B. If mark is greater than 45, like anything greater than 40, I would want to return grade C. And for all other values which are less than 40, let's say 25, I would want to return grade D. This is basically what I would want to be able to do. For that, uh, I could actually do it something of this kind. If marks greater than eighty-five, eighty, then return A. Java provides me with something called an else if. This is what is a nested if. So I'm saying else if marks are not greater than equal to eighty, else, and if this condition is greater than this condition is satisfied. So greater than equal to sixty, then return B. Else, if marks greater than equal to forty, return C. Else, return D. So now this is what we call a nested if. Let's run the program and see if it works. And as JMaker, okay, that's great. It works. So whatever you are seeing right now are examples of if, else if, and nested ifs. We are creating more videos as we speak. And if you want to stay updated, don't forget to click the subscribe button. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and feel free to share this video. Thanks for watching. Until next time.